Okay, my friends, this is going to be a brief introduction to how we can heal people. And when I read you what I get from my friend Marguerite, who I've been working with for several years, it, 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 it brings me to tears. All right, my friends, this is going to be difficult to get through, to be perfectly honest with you. This was, I've been working with Marguerite for years now. <clears throat> Her son, John Jr., had a terrible, terrible autism. Now, I want you, this is going to be an introduction, and then my next video is going to be totally everything about this. Now, I, I said to her, I'm going to do a video, and I want to talk to you about this. I said, let's say John was about a 10, as bad as you can get, and he was just, let me read you the symptoms he had. On a scale of 1 to 10, what is he now? This goes back, oh, I don't know, 3 or 4 years or so. And she says he's around a 2 now. On the days he misses, he can go up to a 3 or 4. Now, she's given it twice a day. And then she gives it back to him again, the probiotics. He goes back to a 2. And I mean, you have to give a lot. So I sent this out about pesticides and glycosate, and we're going to go into that because this plays in huge. This is the thing that gets, weakens your immune system. It doesn't destroy it, just weakens it. And everybody seems to have a weak one now. She says, um, we talked about fecal transplant. She says, he knows what it is, he won't take it. See, now he's getting demanding, you, John, you. <laughs> uh, but, I mean, I said, wow, he's a two now? That's a big improvement. I mean, that's huge. Listen to this. She said, now she says his symptoms were worse than a 10. He had Tourette's, tics, muscular spasm, bowel problems, violence, OCDs, rituals, motor and sensory issues, nonverbal, humming arm flapping, stimming, all gone now. Only he has some stimming, and, and that's when she misses the probiotics. So I asked her if I could use this, refer right to this, and she said, yes, of course. And my son's main problem is shyness. For years, people pointed their fingers at him, laughing, and others were screaming, what is that noise? And everyone, everywhere we went, pointing fingers, laughing, and pretending not to so many telling us to control our child. I mean, that's just, that's terrible. And it was, it was nothing for his fault. And, for, and she took him everywhere. And she, listen to this. She told me that one day, she t after he's been better now, she took him to the zoo and she said, he's told her, he said, Mom, remember when we were here last time? And I looked at it and she said, holy smokes, you, this was when he was nonverbal. So I, I no idea he even knew where he was. Didn't even know where he was. But he was trapped in there knowing all this stuff. This is, this is huge. Anyway, so she ended up going to Harvard for microbiome. And I, I mean, now she's starting a school. I mean, this is very, very heartwarming to me. I mean, very heartwarming. Okay, so anyway, she says, of course you can use it. And she says, I'm starting teaching in September. She's going to be teaching everybody in her, this is over in Belfast. And um, she's got a place in city center, a five-story building. There are all people that are trying to do good work for other people. It's not the charity. She's setting up a charity as well. Um, we are working and networking to making our school and retreat center. So they're, they're all getting together to try to, to actually do something. And I'm, I said to her, it's all coming together now. This thing I have just figured out about how damaged our immune systems are and how why they continuously are damaged. And it has to do with genetically modified food. It, they, it, they think it won't hurt you because it doesn't affect your specific chemistry in your body, but it does affect the bacterial chemistry in your body. All right, now here's the EPA. <clears throat> the Environmental Protection Agency. This is about glyphosate, and this is the ingredient that's in Roundup. Now, I talked to Stephanie Seneff, oh, four or five years ago <clears throat> about this. She's up at MIT, and she's really outstanding at pushing this thing, because nobody else would. And they still say, oh, no, no, there's nothing wrong with it. And this is our EPA. Here's what it is. The EPA does not agree with the, uh, what is this, the International agency for, uh, this is uh, International Agency on Research for Cancer. They, they say that it is probably carcinogenic to humans. Now, here's the key. Our, our agency looked at it and they said, can this interfere with these different things? Estrogen, androgen, thyroid signaling pathways. They, they 
looked at our physical chemistry and said, can this stuff interact with what's going on in that chemistry? And they said, no, 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 we, it, it only affects plants. That's why it kills that signal in plants. Well, guess what? Bacteria, and it's the only thing John was affected by was the, you know, I mean, there's a little, little extra, um, Marguerite gave him some, a couple extra little chemicals, very simple, basic stuff. Um, but primarily, it's the probiotics twice a day. If he doesn't have those, he goes back into his his um, problems. Why? How could that possibly be? I can tell you why. Because there's nothing there to to give out the enzymes. The bacteria gives out the enzymes. And guess what? Even though the chemistry in the glyco uh, glyphosate doesn't hurt your blood cells, let's say, it kills bacteria, just like the kind of plant life that it kills the little leafy green things on soils. It, the bacteria in your body that healed John is susceptible to being killed by this stuff. And they have found that after four weeks, they put it down on the dirt and killed all of plant life on there so they could go and just poke their plants in the ground no extra turning and you know there was a, it was a super idea it's just it's, it's dangerous that's the problem so when they put them in the ground they just start growing and guess what after four weeks of fallow so they put it down everything died four weeks later they planted they still had a glyphosate come out of the plants so when you eat those plants you're eating glyphosate the glyphosate is going through you, your bacteria eat the glyphosate. The bacteria become weak and die. That's why people have a weakened immune system. I was, I was, this was driving me crazy. I said, well, how could it get weakened? Why would it be weaker and weaker and weaker? You know, it would just die off, I was thinking. Or it would get healthier. But no, it's a continuous state of unhealthiness. And that's because we are continuously assaulting it with, I believe, this particular product. It looks like it to me. All right, I'm just going to cut to the chase. Like I said, I am going to go deep, deep, deep. But you, the takeaway from this is that just as I showed you with Marguerite's son, John Jr., and a whole bunch of other ones, not just John. She said, I think she told me it was at least 500 other families. She's been doing this for years now, and she's very, very, very good, and she's a hard worker. Now, and I've gone through all of this different material about their reports and what they find and this and that. Now, I could be wrong, and if I am, tell me I'm wrong, but they've reviewed all these different health risks and assessments and so forth. However, what they referred to is the human system, the human biological system, not plant life. And the plant life is what we're being kept alive with. That's your immune system is the same stuff that John has to take, otherwise he goes all back into that same stuff. Twice a day, if he doesn't do it twice a day, he's in trouble. His body is not putting that stuff out. His bacteria in his body has been damaged so bad that it cannot get ahead of the bad bacteria. Or, or, get, or make its products, let me put it that way. It could be one of either way. Because you could be being attacked, or you could just be not able to make the products you need to live. And that's why people get obese. They, 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 they eat a bunch of stuff, and they should be able to collect things out of there. And the bacteria that should be able to make the enzymes that break that stuff down, they're not there. They're dead. So it says, well, I can't get that stuff. He says, well, I don't know. Send a bunch of other guys down. Take whatever you can get. we got to get something going. He said, well, I'm pi piles of stuff down here. Well, put it all in there and see what happens. And then they just get more and more weight piled on and not having the the nutrition that it was it was seeking so anyway uh, the key to take away from this is that to read, to go through it again and see what John's symptoms were and what happened with a very ritualized regime and she had to do it by putting powdered um, mix into ice cream cones because he wouldn't take pills he would, I mean he was really they were going to put him in what they call locked ward 
because he was a danger to everybody and all. she did everything she could to keep him at home and uh it's a, it's a heartwarming story, it really is, it, to, to see him coming around like this and to have him and his mother be helping the rest of the world with this. This, this is very, very rewarding. So uh, the key is the probiotics and uh, Marguerite's, she's going to, uh, I'll have her make a, just a real quick little list, give him this, this, and this, whatever, or she, I'll, I'll have her maybe, if she can, just put a little note to send me to say here's what John took and here's the days every day because she had to do it twice a day now this is that's a big commitment and you know you, you're gonna miss probably and she says if she misses he gets a little bit stimming stimming means stimulated you know shaking a little bit that type of thing and uh, or just getting real hyper that I'm not sure exactly what what it is in this case but it's a stimulation and what that is, is the sheathing of the neural canals is not holding. The bacteria is everywhere in you. There's ten times more bacteria cells in you than there are your cells in you. So you're only 10% of who you thought you were. <laughs>